Hey, hey Salaki, a lot of people want to protest, man. You know what a good protest would be? Okay. And let's all get together and go down to the Poverty right, Law please. Center and let's have a sit-in until they take us off the <laughs> off right, the terrorist right, list. Right. What, what, what's the list that we on? Uh, the Southern, Southern Poverty, poverty. Oh, Let's let's sit. Let's have a sit-in until they take us off the list. Right. Hey, so like, hey, got to work. I understand. Oh, hey, hey, a good <laughs> protest as well is brothers coming together who are at odds and working out their problems civilly. You're talking about the camps? Yeah, camps, right? Uh, other bodies. Hey, hey. To, to destroy the narrative of black men, mm -hmm. black, just black men in general. Whether you are, you're an Israel or a Christian, we are able to come together and reason together, right? And have conversation. Right. Brothers on Clubhouse threaten to come and shoot us. Yeah, that's because happening. we because we have a telephone app because we have a difference in doctrine. But what you do is you don't. In that instance right now, nobody outside of your people sees these are two distinct groups that have a difference in doctrine. And one is zealous about their doctrine and believe the other to be a heretic and they're zealous about their God and that and they've just said something just foolish out of their zeal. They don't see it that way. They see these are niggas. Yeah. Being niggas and doing what niggas do. A black man threatening to kill another black man. See? So when it happens to you, why are you complaining? Because look at how you behave. God. That's what you do. God. You become a a a figure for the white supremacist racist that wants to justify why you Negroes shouldn't exist. So a good protest would be, yo, I don't agree with the brother in doctrine. And I don't believe, I don't believe what he believes, but that's my brother right. at the end of the day. Right. And I'm going to represent our people the right way, even in our disagreement. Right. That's well, a hey, hey, Salaki, we disagree, but I'm not gonna call him out his name. Right. I'm not gonna threaten his children, right? right? Right. The irony in we're arguing over the Prince of Peace, but if you disrespect me, I'm gonna beat you in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. They don't see the irony. We're arguing over the Prince of Peace, but if you get wrong, I kill you, nigga. We actually got scriptures on this. Yeah. Go to First Corinthians strife. 14 and read. Uh, teach, teach Christ in strife. 41. Hey, you all say that again. Anger resteth in the bosom of a fool. Right? Like the, like the hey, we got scriptures for this. Yeah. The first Corinthians, watch this. Chapter 14 and verse 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So we're not supposed to really stress that you don't see the doctrine. Right. We can actually leave you where you at. Go okay. to Revelation 22 and read verse 11 now. The book watch of Revelation. This. Said 22 and 21 and, and 11 and 11 is the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11 right. no. He that is unjust let him be unjust still leave him alone yeah. come on and he which is filthy Let him be filthy still so you could take first Corinthians 14 and 38 and precept it with Revelation 22 and 11 and you could relax all right, you could just relax Hey, hey read what Christ oh wait, you got something get that and then read what Christ said Come. You had, you had it right, Philippians. One and uh, 16. Yeah, start at 15. Guys, the book of Philippians chapter one and verse 15. Uh, you know. Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife. So they, okay, they, the right. only reason they standing on their 10 is against you yeah. as an Israelite is to, it's for envy and strife. Yeah. That's the only reason why they're getting in the book and studying. Yeah. Just to prove a Hebrew Israelite wrong. That's it. What's spurring them and what's spurring that their is a good zeal. Point. And all, that, that's the only thing that's pushing them. Yeah. So if you were going, like if the Hebrew Israelites got off the Clubhouse app where they where they make all those proud boastings of killing and beating you up Damn and handing goodness. you boxing gloves and, and, and stocking you out, right? Wolf we're tickets, wolf tickets, give you an earful, right? If we was off that app, they would have no ministry. They nothing would have to nothing, talk to, about. Talk nothing about. to talk about. Oh, yeah, nothing to talk about. What they would just be was go, they would do as they were doing before. Hey. Go to church at, at 11 o'clock and leave and go home. Hey, that's the same with... Uh, a lot of these white Christians and black Christians, vocab Malone has no ministry if it's not for us. Yes. Where is he just teaching righteousness, righteousness. in his Christology? Yeah. Where is he teaching that at and people are packed in to hear these yeah, breakdowns? Yes. Nowhere. Yeah, yeah. They want to hear him discuss us. Mm -hmm. And he takes the low hanging fruit. He's looking for any reason to criticize what we do. Right. How you brothers doing? Y'all believe in Christ? Y'all believe in Christ? Y'all believe in Christ? Let's yeah. talk about the Bible talk real about fast, the Bible. my brother. Nah, I'm real good, bro. Let me just give you real quick. Three minutes. 
All right, read that, Matthew 10 and 14. Line up, line up. Make a line. Got the read that, Matthew 10 and 14. Book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 14. Uh -huh. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you. Christ say? And whosoever shall not receive you. Whoever does not receive you, read. Nor hear your words. Nor hear your words, read. When you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Hey, Christ told you, don't worry about it. Why? Look, the burden, what, what they get upset about is we don't have the burden of, to, of com pulling you into our belief system. No. We don't have that burden, right? We don't we don't have the burden of forcing you into believing what we believe. The scriptures no, no. say whether they hear or forbear. Right. Compulsion to this. There's, there's no what say it again? There's no compulsion to religion. There's no compulsion to religion. Right? You're, you're well, that's Muslim. what the Muslim says. Muslim. Your Muslim, Muslim, Muslim says that. Your Muslim is is teaching that same concept. Right. Yo, what's up with my man here, man? How you doing, brother? What's your name? Oh, you pull your pants up for me, huh? Yeah, pull them all the way. Like, there all the way you go, up? There you go. He asserted himself. James, James. Mm -hmm. Now, James, you believe in the Bible? No, I don't believe in the Bible. No, I said believe in it. Uh, believe in it? No, I don't. Now, why don't you believe it? Because when do Jesus come back? So you don't believe in it? You don't, so you don't believe in it because Jesus didn't come back yet? Right, like where is Jesus? Well, might be waiting like, on you. you, you Christ be, answered that question. You should be glad that time. Jesus hasn't came back. I was yet. just gonna go there. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta understand. Go what's your name? What's your name again, bro? James. 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 You gotta understand. <laughs> this time period in which Jesus hasn't came back yet is called a grace period in the Bible. Right. You know what grace is? Yeah, like a time period before you get. Which is time period before you gotta pay a debt. Right. Yeah. That's what great a grace period is a time period before you have to pay a debt to somebody else. Like yeah. yeah, and you know what the debt is? What? Let's let's get the Book of Romans chapter six and twenty three. Let's show you the debt. I like your glasses. Cause Christ, all praise to the Most right. High. Cause Christ paid a debt for you. Oh, no. yeah. Book of Romans Bro. chapter six and verse twenty three. We loud. We we God, loud. this is Book of Romans chapter go. six and verse twenty three. Let's go. go. For the wages of sin is death. Is the is what? Is death. So the payment for sinning is your life, right? Everyone. So you have a debt to pay. And what's the price? What's the price? What's the debt? Nigga, we all live, we all gonna live to die though. Wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't ask I will understand that answer if I ask you if we all gonna live to die. But I ask you, what is the payment or the debt of a sinner? You don't know because you weren't there with Jesus. I'm going to show, show you why. I'm that show was you why. a sin that I'm was not, happening. I will understand so what you're saying that if I died. ask you what happened if Jesus died. Listen to the question, James. Read that again. Romans 6, 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. Wait, what is The word wage mean payment. So the payment, what you have to pay for your, sin for your sins is your life. You understand? I ask to be here hold, on, hold on, hold on. I asked to before, be here. Before, 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 we, before we get into uh, all of this uh, back and forth on what you want and what you don't want, listen to what the Bible is teaching well, first. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to listen, I'm a listen first. I'm going to listen first, but before you talk to me, I start talking to you first, right? Yeah. Understand me and I'm going to understand you. Let's have a trade off. All right, respect, sure. respect. Now, yeah. listen, the wage is the payment of sin is your life, but listen. But the gift of God is eternal life Read. through Jesus Christ but, our Lord. But you can pay it, right, by repenting, changing your life, and being right. So, so you don't have to. Person, yeah, I'm sorry. Go to first. Being a white man. No, no, what? Wait, no. How being, the white man? I don't know. Being a white man. I think he said being a white man. And I don't dress like a white man. I said being white. What did I have to do? I mean, I being, being you're right. You're actually dressed like a white man right now. Right. R I G H. I'm like, I feel like I'm a rock star in my head. So rock stars walk around with their pants sagging? Hey, you know who walks around with their pants sagging? You know who does that? Men who are compromised. But, bro, now look, I'm about to ask you something, right? What happened? We just read to you where you have to pay a debt, right? Make sure let's let's, let's find out. First, First Peter two and twenty one. This is First Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. Bring it up. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered wait, for wait, us. Wait, read it again. For even hereunto were ye called. You were called, read. Because Christ. Also suffered for us. Christ suffered for you. What what happened to Christ? How did he suffer? 
say yeah. he died on the cross, he, which I don't believe. He died? Okay, he nigga, died. if my nigga hold was on, on the cross, I'd be like, wait. run up, bro, take my nigga hold off on, the wait, cross. Wait. Like, hey, listen. I'd be the first one. Listen, he but, died Listen, he died on the cross, right? He never no. died on the cross. Was you there when Jesus died? So so this is what, now, so you saying you now, there he's, now, he's like, reveal, yeah. now he's revealed himself. This is what you're doing. Yeah. You know a man who does not believe in Christ. So you don't believe in Jesus. So you believe in Christ, but well, you don't believe he died. Put him on the cross and be like, you know, this what my, this what I did for my nigga. So listen, James. Type shit. In order for you to acknowledge Christ, you have to acknowledge that he died on the cross. So you want me to tell you why? Because you would meet Jesus one day and he'd be like, all oh, y'all niggas lying. Well, because you believe in Jesus. Yeah. So that means you believe that you're gonna meet Christ one day. One day, okay. right? So if you believe that you're going to meet Christ one day, it's imperative that you believe he died on the cross. Because his death on the cross means eternal life. It, it means you have a chance to not be put to death. Because at the end, if, at the end, if you don't repent from sin, you're going to die. Because the payment for sin is what? You ready? Death. Death, yeah. So Christ, stop sinning. Christ yes. suffered so that you can stop what? But what if I don't like the other sin? Like, that's crazy. What if so, I don't like... So, you just went straight so, to it. So, you went straight to it. So, look. James, you're a homosexual, yes? Uh, I'm a pansexual, really. You sleep with men, yes? Sometimes. Not all, right. all the time. Go to, look, like, go to the book of Leviticus. Just a little bit. Hey, let me show you a little bit. Hey, look. Look, James, let me What's show you. What's a pansexual? Someone who sleeps I with men. Let, let him talk. Like What's a pansexual? Like, I like the mind. That's a that's sapiosexual. sapiosexual. Oh, safety on safety. Thank you for correcting it. Yeah. All right. But James, you said you sleep with men sometimes. Right. So, right. So, so because so because you sleep with men, we have to read this. We have to read why Christ is important for you. Read that in Leviticus. It's Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie. Hold on. You believe in God, yes? Yes. Right. So you believe in the Son of God, which is Christ. Mm -hmm. Naturally, you believe in God. Right. Yeah. God gave these commandments right here. This is what the Most High God said. Read. Mm -hmm. This is Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So what that means is a man oh, can't lie with a man, man the lying. same way a that's man lies that's with that's a woman. Right. Hold on, wait. How does a man that's lie that's with that's a woman? That's I didn't ask to be gay. I just felt like I was lying. Oh, yes, you did. Right. You did. I feel like I was lucky, like, like I just lucky. became that. Wait, wait, look, let's see if you're lucky though. Let's keep reading. Cause it is an abomination. God said that's an abomination. It's disgusting. Read. Neither shalt thou lie with that any beast to defile. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Domin what, what you no, domination. Abomination. Is that a threesome or a No, abomination means it's disgusting. Bro, you don't actually. Not you dominatrix. He said abomination. Oh, I thought he said the mom. Okay. No, I don't know. Yeah. A man right. sleeping with a man is an abomination according to God. And according to God, they have to die. Well, who wrote that book? The Most High God. Yeah, I believe that. I ain't gonna tell you, no. So the Most High like, God said, a was man, you there when Jesus hold on. was right now, where God was right now? Hold on. Was you there, though? Wait, hold on. The Most High God like, nigga, said, I'm writing all this shit down and letting y'all know what's about to go down. Somebody wrote it for us. Now stop interrupting. Go ahead, Captain. Okay, my bad. Because <laughs> you acknowledge that God is the author of this book. The Most High God said, a man who lies with a man oh, is supposed to die. Man. But because of Christ, you have what's called grace. Christ suffered for your sin. Which right. means Christ died in your place. Right. Which means you owe Christ. And, so and, what, you, and what you owe Christ is better than being a slave. To Romans be a living up. In Romans 8, let's read it. The book of Romans. You want me to be a chapter slave 8 and, and verse 12. Listen. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. We're not debtors to live after our lusts, our flesh. Those things contrary to God. For if you live after the flesh, if you sin, read, ye shall die. You're, You're gonna, gonna die, die bro. Now God shit is saying, I got a soulmate. What if I got a soulmate? Your soulmate That's is not, it's not, not right. as a boy. Your soulmate, right. your soulmate is not one who is to transgress God's law. Wait, wait, right. James. That's not, that's not your soulmate. How do you determine what's right and wrong? 
I go through a cross examination of my okay. mindset right then and there, and I observe everything for 30 seconds, and then I answer everything you say. So, so James, what I just heard was it's subjective. Yeah, it's whatever you feeling in that moment. Well, ain't no, because I'm not in my feelings. No, 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 no. You just said you go within yourself and have a 30 second ana analysis of what's going on, and you make the Across decision. Examination. Okay. So it's subjective, meaning you decide. You for decide. Sure. For sure. So if you're feeling one day that I'm going to kill people. Mass murder. Guess what? You're gonna make that 30 second analysis. Right. Look at the situation. Cross examine murdering and people. Witness that it would be wrong, but but how though? What if my son is gay and I don't know how to tell him he's gay? You can't have a son by being gay. But you can have a feminine. <laughs> <laughs> he know he got. Come on, like, buddy. for listen, real. Listen, listen. Like, listen, I'm James, real, James, like, you gotta say it, but you I'm gay, say. like, 100%, and I don't ask to be gay. With, yes, you did. Yes, you did. James, so James said, won. That was my yes. yes. James won That's 13. That's why we're saying that. Why y'all say that? Right here. Ecclesiastes 729. Right. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, and verse 29. Lo. That's the, that's the Bible. Right. Lo, this only have I found. That God had made me had made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. That means God made a man to do right things, good things. But so you decided, or so you decided to do be things that were unright. Or be part of what? Like normal. No, no, you trying not to hear that. Wait, read it again. Read it again. Okay, Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Seven and verse twenty-nine. Lo, this only have I found. That's too happy. That God has made man upright. He God made man to be righteous, to do good things. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. But man has made the choice to do evil. That's what you did. Like Illuminati type shit. No. Like, like this is a real no, 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 no. Like James. No, like James waking up one morning and saying, "I want to have sex with another hurt. man." Like that. King I don't wake up every day like I want to. No, 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 no. But you, wait, 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 wait. But, but you be with a man. That's evil. That's what he evil. just said is that's evil. What did he just say? You want to have sex with men, and then certain days you want to have sex with women. That's evil. Man said he do it on his days off. I said I was gonna take a picture next. So then you're making a decision to sleep with men. Yo, what you about to take a picture? I don't want my picture taken. Not with that. Well, your picture is already taken. Wow. But I don't want you to have my picture. I don't know you yet. She the only person under the tent. Don't dress up, please. Let her chill. Just yeah. respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah, no, I'm just... Are you under the influence right now? Yes, I'm high as hell. I told you. Okay. I'm I'm told you. Like, yeah. I told you. I'm trying to learn God at the same time. No, you're like, not. So you got to you gotta listen. I was like, Put God, that back in the back. I don't want you to be homosexual. Why not? Cause it's a uh, sin. So I'm not sure. join y'all sorority. You gotta put down homosexuality. A sorority, a sorority, a sorority is a like sisterhood. Precept. A fraternity would be a it's male a brother. Hat. It's the Book of Romans, chapter one and verse twenty-one. Because that when they knew God. Wait, is this New Testament? Right. Read it again. What's it's the Book of Romans. Romans is New Testament. Chapter one. Go and verse twenty-one. Uh -huh. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Neither were thankful, uh -huh. but became vain in their imagination. So, to, to, according to the Bible, that to know, big. listen, <laughs> according to the Bible, to know God means you know what His what commandments Bible are. You got, you don't got King James. Right? I definitely got the King James. You don't got King James. One thousand percent. That's, That's all we read. Ever heard that. So listen. So listen. Now that you <laughs> didn't know. know that, now understand and change, because knowing God means you're keeping the commandments. Right. Okay. Right. One of the commandments say to not lie with mankind like you would lie with a woman. Yeah, because I don't sleep with dogs, cats, bears. You want to know why? You want to know why that's dragons, wrong? You want to know why that's wrong? You want to know why that's wrong? Because that's another creature. No, no, because that's God. Sick. You would because, catch something. Because God said it's wrong. Right. Because look, 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 the same justification you would give me for well, sleeping no, no. with a man, right. a person will give me water? for sleeping with a dog. Hey, hey, I'm on that farm. <laughs> hey, guess what? There's people of a certain community, right? They're considered a community now. A gay community? Nah, I'm going to let you I'm know. Like That's who y'all opened the door for. We love Beyonce. Who y'all opened the door for oh was a... <laughs> hey, listen. Who y'all opened the door for was a people who said that sleeping with a child 
is love. It's okay. That's love. The fuck? It, wait, wait. If my daughter was, hold on, look at this scenario. If my daughter was 10 How you gonna have a daughter? Oh, and she had a lot of money, like. Hey, listen, you're, you're demonic. A lot of money. And, money? and she could do whatever what? she want. I don't want to talk to you anymore. She wait, can wait. fuck a grown man if she wants. You want to let your 10 year old daughter have sex with a I don't want to talk to you anymore. How you going to have a daughter? You would let your you would let your I'm going to say after the period. You would let your, like, she grown you would let your 10 year old daughter sleep with a grown man. Yes. Hey, I mean, get friends. Show. Uh, go, 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 Salakia, continue. Get, give, get what uh, Captain's asked you to get. To finish off on, on uh, verse 21. But became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Uh -huh. Professing themselves to be wise, uh -huh. they became fools. This, this, professing yourself to be wise and understanding the, the, the mind of love and, and understanding these ways, you have darkened your own mind. Uh -huh. To where you would give your 10-year-old daughter over to a grown-ass man. You're disgusted. And changed the glory did, of the uncorruptible God. And did what? And changed the glory and of the uncorruptible. And what, and what you're gonna say is that man is is moved and given his spirit by God, and your perverted daughter is doing the same thing. The Bible says, "Train up a child in the way that they should go." Yeah. You and understand that? Come here, another child. Well, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. He's if, talking if, about. If you man. weren't so it's it's if you weren't so subjective. And so damn evil, you right. would be a and you would be able to instruct your child in the righteous ways of God. Right. But evil is but first first live five. backwards. Like, what do you mean? Wait, wait. So you can I'm be so, so it's good to be evil. Reset. You have to. So why did you say if you don't believe it's good to be evil? You have to why be angry in the hell would you say that? If nobody is angry, huh? You have to show motherfucking. Fear, it's a time to show fear, but it's a time to show force. When is it a time to be righteous? Like, obviously, when you find everywhere in the world. It's not time to be gay. It's not crazy. Hold on, no. You just, you just justify. That's that's you just justify. Hold on. You just justify why a 10 year old girl can sleep with a grown man. Right. If it's for financial gain. Read that. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 5. Bring it out. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. What did it call him? Perverse disputing of men of a corrupt mind. Your mind is corrupted, and that's why your your, your words and that's why your words are vain. That's why your words are an abomination. Bring it out and the suit of the truth. And you're, the, and you're destitute of truth and knowledge. Right. You're destitute of wisdom. That means you're in the congregation of the dead. The Most High God describes you as a man that's dead while he lives. That's right. Supposing that gain is godliness. Supposing that what? That gain is godliness. You suppose gain is godliness. You suppose that a girl 10 years old sleeping with a grown man for financial gain is good. And you're perverse and wicked and the most high is going to destroy you. He said if his daughter got the bread, then she can do whatever about what she wants. You feel about you feel hey, about it's not about what I feel. It's about what the most high God yeah. feels. Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom.